looking to leave the smallest carbon footprint they can, this inventive duo have spent six years designing and building Haas Farm, their urban style home and retreat. This is an incredible view. Why did you decide to settle in Stanford? We decided to settle here because we wanted to build a home, but we also wanted to create a, a way of living and a lifestyle. That's why we choose for Stanford and this valley. And would you say you're living your dream? Look, this is, this is us, this is our property and our house and our lifestyle that we also gladly share with other people, our friends, family. And you know, if, if you start to live like we live here, then you have to reinvent yourself because we have never been living off the grid. And that is the biggest challenge that we had over the last couple of years, that you get rid of the most of the packaging and the plastics and whatever and you really think about everything that you do and that is the biggest plus that this whole area and this specific plot gave us. Harry started a design company in Amsterdam which grew into an agency merging graphic and product design with architecture and interiors. It shows. Okay, first welcome into the guest part of our farm. Uh, this is what we call the library and it's an introvert space. You can see it, it's dark walls, it's a lot of art and rel relatively small windows and loads of books. So here you sit, you get a book, you slow down, you relax, digitally detox and reconnect with yourself. This is absolutely beautiful. Let's talk about the design of this home. So that was actually original um, house, farmhouse that was standing on the farm when we bought it. And um, so then Harry decided, well, let's make then this the guest part of the house for everybody to enjoy before we built the new, the new part on the house. But we use this as the base, how to build the new part of the house. So the volumes, the pitches of the roof, everything relates to what we built new. There's a lot to a name. Why house farm? A haas is the Dutch word for hare, rabbit. Well, we have a lot of hares and rabbits here on the farm. But haas, you see the A and the E intertwined, is aarde and earth. Because we are very mindful of the planet and of the earth. And the third explanation is actually a coincidence, but it's even nicer, because it's Harry and Stein. The collection of 80s furniture from the Italian design movement Memphis created its own storyline. How did the walking in Memphis theme come about? The house was featured in a magazine and um, the pictures were sent to a copywriter in Mexico and she saw all the pictures and she saw the Memphis furniture and the chairs and the lamps and that's how she came up with walking in Memphis. And a coincidence for me is it's also one of my favorite songs. A reflexologist with years of experience in launching health resorts, Stain's flair for hospitality and Harry's background in art and design make any stay here a creative treat. Your art really represents your personalities. It is for me not interesting to buy art of very established artists for a crazy price. It's much nicer to buy art that has not been even exhibited yet perhaps and actually most of the art that is in this house is from first exhibits or from uh, exhibitions that was from students that uh, had their last year in the academy so it is a quirky cult collection collected over more than 40 years and uh, i will never sell it because it's me it represents me and if i look at it i see my own development and that's for me very precious Individual pieces are grouped like art installations. Since this Dutch entrepreneur invested in South Africa 16 years ago, his collection has moved with him through three properties and also grown Stain's love of design. Your furniture is just as eclectic as your art. And in particular, I love and adore the red couch at the back of me, the Jasmine Morrison, because the positioning it is, where you can sit in the mornings with your coffee, or in the afternoon with a beautiful glass of champagne, and um, just um, enjoying life. This is a place to switch off your phone and connect with nature, art, and the people around you. It is not for nothing that we stand here around this table, because at this table we have chairs, all from a different era. Some, some from 1954, otherwise from 1978, and the others from 
2008. So it's 50 years, 60 years of design around this table. This table is designed by myself from old floor panels. Um, it's a very old, it's about 300 years old. So what we always say uh, on this table, you can make a mess, you can put your forks in the, in the top of it, you can spoil your wine, it only gets better in time. Considering the volume of the house and the concrete floors, you'd expect it to be quite cold, but it's pretty warm. If you have a high volume house, and if you start with such a volume, you actually need underfloor heating. So that's the first thing. Then you create on the north side of the house, so that's where the winter sun comes in, big windows, so the winter sun comes in deep in the house. Then you have a concrete floor, so that heat is absorbed by the floor and it radiates at night. So that's already a couple of things that you can do. It's just thinking that really saves you a lot of energy. And then, of course, then you build a house where the walls are insulated. But uh, we can keep this house extremely cheap warm because we get the water from the borehole. It's the whole year round 14 degrees and um, it's heated up to 22 degrees and pumped through the floor. So we only need to heat up water like 8 or 10 degrees in order to have a fully heated house. So it's a very fuel energy efficient house. It's just a way of thinking. Treading ever more lightly on the earth is a waking sleeping quest for this couple and always done in style. This is a very tranquil space. This is actually the main bedroom of the house. It's completely filled up with uh, light, hence in the morning at 5 o'clock in summer you are being woken up by the sun right there and um, so no late sleeping in for us in summer. So we sleep and we live with the rhythm of nature. We have only three bedrooms, one for ourselves and two for the guests and the design approach was in this part of the house, if you can see, it is a complete white structure based on steel and within the high-tech building we wanted to build a cubicle which you see behind us and that is built totally from recycled material from recycled stone and recycled wood and everything recycled even to electricity wires so this is a complete low emission recycling thing because we also wanted to be clever with the environment because that's what we actually want to do so whatever you can recycle we did and well, this is actually the expose of it. These pioneers live by four slogans. Time is wealth, space is freedom, nature is knowledge, and silence is the ultimate luxury. What design tips can you give to our viewers who want to make improvements to their home? First, express yourself. Okay. Second, take chances. So combine and mix and match. If you want to follow trends, only do it in the accessories. Go for quality and never for quantity. So if you want to buy four chairs, why not buy one chair and uh, save it for two or three years and buy a good de designer's piece that lasts a lifetime. It's good for the environment, it's good for the designers. And last of all, if you really don't know how to do, how to do it, you can always ask an architect or designer to do it for you. But then there's only one tip. Brief him very carefully so that you don't end up in living in someone else's dream but in your own. I love that, don't live in somebody else's dream. The pair of you make a mean team. Here's to simplicity and eco-friendly living. Cheers. 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 Thank you. For Stain, who grew up in Pumalanga, then worked in big cities, it's a return to the farm surrounds of his childhood. To both of them, it's the best of the good life. 